Hey guys, John here from LearningGuitarNow.com. And in this lesson, uh, I'm going to show you how to play an unaccompanied blues in the key of E. Uh, I think it's, it's a great thing to know how to play some pieces by yourself. You know, if you spend all this time practicing and you're into like Hendrix and C. Ray Vaughan and Clapton and whatnot, uh, a lot of times you can get lost in just playing solos. Uh, you know, stuff like that that's really that you need a backing track or uh, some kind of a maybe a band to jam out with. And uh, I think it's a great idea to have some pieces that you can play by yourself, especially if someone you know is ask you, you know, uh, so you've been taking all these lessons or learning stuff online, uh, play something for me. And, you know, many times you may not have anything prepared. So this is one of those pieces uh, that you can learn to just play by yourself. You know, you don't need any backing track or anything or play for someone else uh, that may ask you to play uh, something on the guitar. To get the tone for this lesson, I'm using my uh, 66 Super Reverb and also uh, am using the Fryette uh, Power Station so I can uh, play in the same room with the Super Reverb. It's just a lot easier for me to play an un unaccompanied piece like this if I'm directly listening uh, to a guitar amp versus uh, studio monitors. And so the uh, Fryette power station really knocks a lot of volume off the super reverb but still retains the tone pretty pretty amazing piece that it just uh picked up about a week ago and then for guitar i'm using this uh, this is a gibson reissue 54 les paul gold top with p90s i just picked up recently and uh, i've never owned a guitar with p90s so this is a new experience and man i've missed out uh, I've been playing for around 33 years and uh, never owned a guitar with P90s, never really played a guitar with P90s. Uh, and this is something that has become like uh, maybe, you know, one of the easiest playing and best sounding guitars I've come across just because it's like uh, kind of like a Strat, which I started on Strats and played Strats exclusively, exclusively for a number of years, over a decade. And... Um, it's just kind of like a, a fat single coil. So to me, it's kind of like a Strat and a Tele uh, combined with a Les Paul. You know, if adding the uh, less tension uh, string, string tension on the Les Paul, you know, shorter scale length uh, with the single coils, but it's a little fatter sound than a Strat. Just really gives a, a nice sound to play, especially by yourself like this. So it's been a, a really cool experience learning P90s and how they respond, uh, playing them in an amp like this. We'll go ahead and take a look at a portion of this uh, lesson for free. And if you would like access to the full lesson, uh, the interactive tab, uh, check out the All Access Pass. Uh, there's numerous courses on the site to teach you how to play improvisational blues and slide guitar, which you also gain immediate access to as well. Okay, let's go ahead and start the lesson. Okay, I'm going to break the lesson down into 12 separate licks. And uh, once again, this is in the key of E. I'll go ahead and start with lick number one. Sounds like this. Okay, so for lick number one, uh, we're in the key of E, and I'm just doing this classic blues kind of piece, uh, this little chord. E seventh chord, you hear this traditional blues all the time. All the time. Red House, you know, you hear that. That type of thing. And you're just walking this chord down. Key of E, this is an E seventh chord. We're on the, uh, uh, let's see, fourth fret with your second finger, first finger on that uh, third fret of the B string, and third finger down here on the um, fourth fret, the high E. So you got those three notes. And I'm just sliding into it. Now slide it backwards. Backwards again. And then a big E chord and hammer on that first finger open G string to first fret. Strike the open string twice. And so I'm also using my pick here and then my second and third fingers to pluck all these strings here. I'm just cupping those fingers into my palm to uh, play these. For more about, you know, playing finger style like this, uh, 
there's numerous lessons in the all access pass about you know playing with your finger style like this. So anyway, you got this first little piece. Hit that twice. Now we're gonna do the classic blues lick. So I'm just sliding into the fourth fret of the G string. Let that ring, classic blues move. Also using this uh, Fender medium pick, and I'm using the round side here. Hammer on three to five, three O. Oh. Slide backwards to two. Now hammer on, O oh, open the first fret. Then we're gonna walk up to B seven. One, two, B7. Now this. Quick hammer here. And then third fret uh, with your third finger here on the low E string. So pretty, you know, basic little intro lick that you can do. It sounds great if you ever want to play a blues by yourself or any kind of beginning intro piece. Also, keep in mind this is in 4-4 four, four is what I'm counting with. It's around 80 to 85 beats per minute. I did not play to a metronome. I just played, you know, myself with listening to nothing. I can play better without listening to a click track, especially if it's just me. I don't have to play to anything. Uh, it's also always better so I can speed the tempo up, maybe slow it down uh, here and there like doing. So anyway, 4-4, four, four, and we're also swinging the eighth notes. What that means is we're gonna play it like one, a two, a three, a four, a one, a two, a three, a four will be the eighth notes. So that just gives you, you know, if you want to put it into blues context, one, a two, a three, a four, a one. Just a must know blues rhythm, swinging those uh, eighth notes like that. So really cool little intro lick right there. That's it for lick one. Okay, lick two is this. Okay, so lick two, uh, we're doing that classic blues move here. This is an excellent little piece. Uh, the first few licks here for, you know, a beginner player to this style of uh, playing. Not beginner, I've never played guitar before or only been playing like a month. But if you're new to playing this type of a stuff, uh, the first go around will uh, be a lot easier for you to play. So you got this classic blues move, you know, first finger on the second fret of the A string, third finger on the fourth fret of the A string. We're just doing this. And what I'm doing is I'm also playing this more staccato like, not playing could do that, but I'm playing this like this. And then I'm gonna do a lick. It's a great exercise to train your rhythm playing too, to switch between playing a rhythm and then a little lead part. In this case, it's more of a, just a small little rhythm part. And it sounds really cool to do, uh, even if you're playing by yourself or you can play an acoustic or with a band, it sounds great. So you got this thing. So this second finger on the second fret of the uh, D string, and then hammer on. And then put your second finger on the second fret of the, of the uh, G and the B string, and hammer back to that. And just practicing that to where you can get it to sound good. want to play that over and over again until you get it to groove. You know, if you're losing some time in between. See, that's out of rhythm. You've got to keep that rhythm going. You could tap your foot, you know, to keep that beat. One, two, three, four. And just get that down until it feels, you know, grooving. Uh, you'll be able to understand you, when you get it. You can't be thinking about, you know, missing a string or you start missing stuff like that. The groove, of course, is going to be lost. 
Also, my wrist is not clamping down like this. I'm playing at an angle to give it, uh, there's a little bit more sound coming out. I'm muting every open string while I'm playing. I want everything to kind of be resonant and ring out. See, I'm muting right here, and then I'm switching to resonant. It has an effect on the tone, I find. So anyway, uh, after you get that, you're just gonna do this again. Then, just pretty basic, and then this lick. And then another classic blues move, pretty easy, you know, one, two, three, two. Or you can count a triplet, one triplet, two triplet, three triplet, four triplet. It's all threes, eighth note uh, triplets. can't get that you know make an exercise out of it and play it every day but those uh, first couple of licks are a great exercise to do to get used to playing uh, this kind of stuff uh, in time okay uh, that's it for lick two okay lick three sounds like this Okay, so for lick three, we're going to the A chord now, doing the same exact thing, just dropping down a string so we got this. And then we're gonna play this same uh, thing, just like this. We're playing it in the key of A now, and so I would think about that's based on the first position A minor pentatonic scale area. Or you can think about basing it on the A major chord right here. Whatever, you know, makes sense to you. And then you're just doing this. So you got. Then back to that same one. And then back to that same little part. So it's basically the same thing that we did previously. We're just moving to the four chord, the A chord. And instead of doing this, we moved it to the key of A. So it's a great thing to do, uh, you know, to be able to, of course, move it to any key. You could move it to B. Except you're not going to have open strings to play this thing. You'd have to play. So you could do something like that if you wanted to just play that type of a thing, you know, over the B chord. You could also play it here in the key of A. B. Uh, sounds great, you know, just doing it like that as well. So you should learn how to play it both ways if you want to, you know, be more flexible in things that you can do. Playing it like this may sound better in a band. And playing by yourself may sound better with the open strings. really just depends. The point is you need to be able to play uh, the same type of things multiple different ways. And that just helps you with your improvising, whether you're playing uh, lead guitar or rhythm guitar. Okay, so that's it for lick three. Okay, well, that's it for this lesson. Uh, like I mentioned previously, if you'd like to gain access to the full lesson and the interactive tab, as well as all of the solo lessons on the site and all the courses on the site, uh, check out the all access pass. All right, I'll see you next time.